Hey, what's up, guys? This is Easy Cubing, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how this man right here changed cubing forever. Enjoy. I'm sorry. 50 dub, I even got it tatted on me. 81, they'll bring the crashes to the party. And you know me. Alright guys, so just like my last video, we're going to have to go back in time to 2007 when Rubus Cubes were the leading speed cube and not even the Diane Zanchi was released yet. What we do here is go back, 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 back. To think about this is crazy, seeing that there are so many speed cubes nowadays, you can never run out of cubes to try. You also have to keep in mind that this record was set on a Rubik's brand cube, so there was no corner cutting, no reverse cuts, and no circular centers. Anyways, let's get into the record. So the record was set by a guy named Thibaut Jaquino in 2007 in Spain at the competition Spanish Open 2007. Before Thibaut got this world record, he didn't have any other 3x3 records, and this was, and still is, his only record that he ever has had. Now if you're a cuber, you should be able to tell why this solve was important, but if you're not, let me tell you why. So this was the first ever official sub-10 Rubik's Cube solve. In the cubing community now, on a world scale, a sub-10 is not very fast at all. For an average cuber, their first sub-10 is a huge breakthrough. To be able to average under 10 seconds is extremely hard and not very many cubers can do it. You have to know a lot of subsets such as COLL, PLL, and full OLL. COLL is not always required if you are really good at F2L, but it does help a lot of cubers average under 10 seconds. So now with that in mind, let's go back to 2007. Now this solve was over 10 years ago and was a huge breakthrough. After Thibaut got the first sub 10 second solve, the community started getting faster and faster. The record started coming in smoothly, and by 2008, the record was already under 9 seconds. Now the craziest thing about this record is that it wasn't recorded. That's right guys, the first sub 10 second solve was not recorded. He does have some other videos of him solving, so I will show you that. And nowadays the record is under 5 seconds with all of the new subsets and all of the new technology I've had to cubing. Anyways, huge congrats to Thibaut for getting the first sub 10 in the cubing community. Anyways guys, make sure to leave what you average down below and if you have gotten your first sub 10 second solve. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at EasyCubing. Have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.